So today I'm working on the uh, flooring. Uh, last night I did uh, the first two rows and the uh, reason is I had my son with me to give me a hand and I did actually one room upstairs yesterday and because uh, I wanted to get some experience in a less obvious room and I used different flooring. Uh, this one is uh, water resistant, the other one isn't. So I had to test that. Uh, the biggest challenge in this room is I have to keep an access panel for the uh, piping in case there's a trouble to, so we can access it. And right now you can see I've started laying down the, uh, the, the frame. It's going to be aluminum frame. And if you can see, it comes just a little bit under the uh, frame. So it's going to be about one, uh, one millimeter lower. So that's perfect. And then over here is the, the trap. And I just cut it to the right size. And you can see this is the old one. It sticks actually about two millimeters and it's always inconvenient when we sweep the floor. So that's going to be different and be flush. And probably I'm going to use those kind of hooks to pull it out. You just push it in, push it in like this. And then you have a, a hook to pull it. Maybe they have better one by now. But now what I got to do is I got to put a metal frame, aluminum frame around this. And it, I was first thought to uh, put it on hinges, but if I put it in hinges, then because of the angle, it has to be shorter. So it's just going to pull straight up. Uh, that's what I'm doing today. Unfortunately, it's raining today, so that means I have to cut the wood in the kitchen, well, the old kitchen. And it's very messy. But that's that's the weather, right? So I've prepared the trap and the uh, the frame around it. And uh, here it is. It's got what one millimeter around of play. You can see that one millimeter. And of course, there's no no handle yet, so I put the uh, a screw to take it out. Here's the bottom. So these are screwed in, and I only put a few screws because they actually stick out on the other side. So what I gotta do is um, grind them up. Or oh, actually, what I can do is. Once I've cut the uh, the flooring, a better option is to uh, to chain them for longer screws, and that way they will actually hold the uh, the flooring in. It won't move. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Is going to use longer screws than I have now, and then that will keep it from moving and sliding one way or the other. And that's the trap. But of course now the hard part comes. Now I've got to cut. You can see here it's less than 30 centimeters so I have to cut a gap and that gap has to go into that trap so that's where the fun begins all right so obviously from what you can see I've done the floor in, in the kitchen uh, did it in last I guess last week I, uh, I had to do it in three days because I didn't have enough time and as well, I uh, install the moldings at the bottom, so that really adds a nice touch to the uh, to the room. So look at that now; looks quite nice. And just today, I'm gonna move the uh, the fridge and the table and from the old kitchen to this one, and this is the access to the plumbing under the floor. Uh, the old one had a box to keep, uh, I guess, vegetables and, and 
things cool in the summer and winter but I, uh, I don't have that it's a custom made I wanted something that was flush with the floor and I did it it's like you can see <coughs> it's pretty well flat with the floor so that was the number one criteria for me uh, not storage but just uh, so it's smooth and I don't know if you can see there's uh, a few places I had a little bit of trouble with the glue and I've used many kinds of glues until now and always to clean it we use a wet cloth but this glue doesn't is not water soluble so I had a trouble to clean it up and then I found out that I need to use a dry cloth and unfortunately it was too late so I use some uh, cleaners but it doesn't really come off so I guess it'll have to come off over time uh, as we walk on it to wear it out and uh, so this is the kitchen pretty well done so that's the kitchen all right one final video of the kitchen um, you can see that I've added the furniture now um, I wanted to see what it looks like and it's nice to have a sunny kitchen for a change uh, it's a little bit smaller than the old kitchen so it's a little bit tight there's a few things I don't know exactly where we're gonna fit in yet but uh, looks quite nice I bought a new uh, stand for the microwave the rice cookers and the toaster like I was mentioning in the previous videos and on that wall at the back is the fridge and the cabinet with all the dishes and I was thinking of putting a uh, stand there but it looks like it's going to be too tight so we're going to get something that fits under the window and you can see I've got some plastic in the openings because um, I'm still working on the back room and now that it's nice and clean here I want to keep it clean uh, the, the drywall dust is just so uh, pervasive it gets everywhere and you stand here and dirty dishes it's really nice it's very convenient the way it's designed so there's going to be some adjustments in the next few weeks as we use it and see how it works and the table is smaller since it's a smaller room but it's a nicer table all right i think that's all for the kitchen